Welcome families to fourth grade. The fourth grade teachers this year are myself, Becca Van Nort. If you need to email me, my email is rvannort at usd232.org. Brianna Robbins, the email is brobbins at usd232.org. And Kirby Younger, kyounger at usd232.org. Feel free to reach out to any of us throughout the year if you have any comments, questions, or concerns. This year, we are focusing on classroom values instead of rules that will encompass the three RE's of being respectful, ready, and responsible. The classroom values will focus more on who we are as a class and the important role each person has in creating a positive learning environment. We will talk more about our specific classroom values as the beginning of the school year starts with the students. Responsibility and accountability. Fourth grade is a year for change. Students need to learn to be responsible and accountable for their work and action. We work a lot on these skills throughout this year. We will be using Class Dojo to track student behavior. Students will have a chance to earn rewards for positive behavior as well. In fourth grade, we work on developing leadership skills both in and out of the classroom. I'm sure you will be hearing a lot more about this as we talk more about the Leader in Me program that we are implementing at Riverview this year. Our daily schedule. In the morning, we will have our morning meetings or morning work time from 8.30 to 8.50. From 8.50 to 9.50, we will have math. At 9.55 to 10.55, we will have our essentials times, which rotates based on which letter day it is. From 11 to 11.40 is our math flight school time. Reminder that this is a time when students are split up based on some data. They might be working with a different teacher in the building or another fourth grade teacher. They will be split into groups to focus on specific skills as needed. These groups do often change. From 11.40 to 12.15, we will have our small reading groups in our own classrooms. At 12.20, we will have recess and then at 12.45, we will go to lunch. At 1.15, we'll have social studies or science. We switch back and forth throughout the year based on the unit we are working on. And that will go till 1.50. From 1.50 to 2.20, we will have our ELA flight school time. Again, similar to math, the kids will be split up based on some data, and we will have them working for a 30-minute time period on some specific skills with another fourth grade teacher or their own or another teacher throughout the building. More information will come out about flight school as we get started with that. From 2.20 to 2.35, we have recess. And from 2.40 to 3.30 is our literacy block. Our literacy block varies whether we focus more on reading or writing, depending on the day. Some days we integrate both very well. We will have some big writing projects throughout the year that we'll work on during this time as well. And from 3.30 to 3.45, we will have read aloud and then get packed up and ready to go. Communication. Communication is key to a successful classroom and the relationship between the teachers and parents. We will be using Class Dojo. Everyone must get signed up to see updates in our classroom and check on your student's behavior. We will also use Class Dojo as a communication tool to send updates and important information to parents. Look for the sign-up sheet in your child's back-to-school night folder. The other way of communicating is through Monday folders. Please look for those to come home every Monday and please send the folders back the very next day. We will also often communicate through email, phone calls, and personal notes sent home. Another way we communicate is through tests and quizzes. We have conferences in September and February. Math tests, at the end of each math test, you will receive, well, your students will receive, a test rubric to show the areas they need to work on and the areas that they are excelling in. This will be explained much more after the first math test. Weekly reflections. Students will, re will be responding to self-reflective questions about their week at school and their life outside of school. Responses will be completed on Google Classroom. Parents should check in and have your child read their responses to you. Weekly reflections are due always on Fridays. Our literacy block. So our district uses the literacy curriculum that is called Benchmark Advance. This curriculum will include whole group, small group reading, and writing instruction. During our ELA flight school block, just like I mentioned before, students will be grouped based on data to best meet the needs of all students. During this time, students will receive specific instruction with a fourth grade teacher or another teacher in the building. ELA Flight School 
is a 30 minute reading block, reading or writing block, and it is met four times a week. Math. Just like I mentioned before, we have Math Flight School, which also meets for 30 minutes four times a week. Our district math program, program is called Envision Math. We do daily independent practice or daily math videos and notes for student homework. Lesson quizzes throughout the unit as we need them in the classroom. We expect students to work on extra math as well to really work on those math facts. Fourth grade is a big year and students must know their multiplication and division facts, especially as we move on throughout the year. Homework assignments. Math homework most nights. Some nights they will have a math video to watch and take notes on their own. We'll go over this in class before we assign that or they'll have a practice page which goes along with what we've been working on in class. Extra math is expected to be done three times a week. That means it needs to be done on three separate days of the week. Students have the opportunity to work on this at school, but they often might need to work on it at home as well. We expect students to keep track of what days they work on extra math in their planners. Reading for 20 minutes a night or 100 minutes a week and all reading minutes must be tracked in student planners and signed by parents weekly. This will be due on Fridays. Any classwork that has not been completed during the provided class time will also be homework. Testing. We will not be map testing this year. We will be using a new form of testing that will be explained a little bit later on. Be looking for that information coming soon. State assessments are in the spring. We use literacy assessments for each of our units, and like mentioned before, we also use math topic tests. We will be using a guided reading assessment to determine reading levels of all students. Our Veterans Day Assembly, the famous fourth grade assembly, will happen on Tuesday, November 6, 2018. The morning performance is at 9 a.m. There will also be an evening performance on the same day. That time will come out to you much later on, so save the date now. Thank you so much for trusting us with the responsibility and privilege of teaching your child. We look forward to working with this, you this year. This is Van Nort, Miss Robbins, and Miss Younger.